All right, Jack, just talk to me about this game, your thoughts on it. Um, came out a little slow, left too many plays out there offensively, and uh, obviously didn't score enough to get a job done today. Um, with this being your last game, you you've, are on, in the record books here at the at UWA. Just talk about your time here and your memories. Um, yeah, since I decided to come down here in uh, January of 2019, um, this team, this program has really uh, welcomed me with open arms and the brotherhood, uh, the coaches, the players, the staff, everybody. Um, so just big thanks to them for welcoming me and stuff like that, letting me lead them the past two years, and uh, I'm forever grateful. Uh, so what's next for you? Um, I'd like to get into coaching, like to GA somewhere, um, try to work my way up the coaching ladder. Well, this was a, a ground-heavy game with you picking up a lot of yardage. Just talk about this game and, and just your mindset during it. Um, during the game, I just wish we executed more offense. Uh, defense, they had plenty of stops. Um, it's just our side of offense, we, we didn't execute like we needed to. Um, you know, just getting down the field, we had a lot of three and outs. We didn't get the first downs to lead to touchdowns. So, you know, we just didn't do our job of offense. Um, just you are one of the seniors that are actually have like one more year left. Just talk about how <clears throat> you plan on building on this year and can continue the legacy next year. Um, for me personally, you know, just, just getting better uh, physically and, you know, just uh, mentally just preparing for next year with the team, having a better bond. And, you know, just looking back on the things that the mistakes that we made and fixing those next year. All right, just talk about this game and what went right, what went wrong from the, your offensive perspective. Uh, we just, we didn't execute. We had uh, a lot of, you know, three and outs to start the game. Uh, we didn't execute. Uh, just all around, could have played better. Um, you were, <coughs> you scored one of our touchdowns today. Just talk about what was going through your mind. How did you make that play? Uh, well, I got to. We give credit where credit's due. Our offensive line gave Jack time back there in the pocket. Uh, Coach made a great call. Jack gave me a beautiful ball. I couldn't drop it. So uh, I'm just appreciative for all everybody putting in the work for me to get one touchdown. Um, you're one of the people that's going to be here next year. How do you plan on just kind of building on what happened this year to make next year better? Well, I feel like this year we uh, just as a team we grew together as a whole. Uh, we had a lot of connections, a lot of love. I think the guys that are leaving, they're a big part of that, but underclassmen like me, it's our job to bring what we learned from this season, bring it on to next season. That way we can have the same connection and be a better team. All right, Mike. Um, this was a very defensive heavy game. Um, you guys made some big stops uh, for some t um, some turnovers on downs. Just talk about uh, this game from your perspectives, especially being on the defense. Uh, coming in, we knew that it was going to be a tough team. I mean, they run about almost every snap, so we just knew we had to pull it down and stop the run first. That was it. Uh, with you being one of the seniors that is coming back next year, just talk about how you plan on building from what happened this year to make next year better for you. Uh, I'm probably using my role as a leader to help rebuild because I know we're losing a lot on defense this year and offense side of the ball too. But I'm going to have a lot of young boys, so I'm just trying to you know, nurture them and help them grow next year. Um, on, when I last looked at the stats, you were leading um, in tackles. I think you had about nine tackles when I came down from the press box. Just talk about how you were able to you know, make those plays and kind of stay ahead of their run game. Uh, just watch me feel them out throughout the week and my D-line. Uh, they help keep the uh, offensive lineman off me and I just made a play. Um, all right, so just talk about this game, especially from, from you being one of the leaders on the defense and this being a defensive, the defensive heavy game. It was a tough, we knew it was going to be a tough game going into it. You know, it was the last one for the season. We just ain't finished. You know. uh, we just left some players out on the field. Um, talk about that fumble recovery and how um, you were able to, to, to get action on that ball. I know during the, during the whole drive, I was just you know, getting different different plays towards my direction that I wasn't doing too well on. And I just kept playing. Like my coaches I always say, just keep playing. And uh, I seen the opportunity to make a play, and I guess what I did. Uh, with you, with this being your last game, what's next for you? Uh, what's next for me is just uh, try to train, try to give me some training in if I can continue to play, if that's God's plan. Uh, just talk about this game, what went right, what went wrong. Well, you know, it's the old adage of it's hard to beat a team twice, you know, and we I felt like we had a good plan coming in. I felt like we executed for the most part, um, you know, just – as football is, especially in close games, one or two key plays, uh, and it's you know it's probably a handful. Probably there's probably eight plays that if either one of them you know had, had gone a different way, that it, the outcome would have been different. And you know I felt like we 
battled back and, and, and took the lead and, and thought we had a, a momentum and, and credit to them. I mean, they, they, they got us on a pass play and, uh, and it worked. Um, you know, it's, it's a tough one. Uh, it's tough for those seniors. Um, they deserve to go out better than this. It's, it's a good group. It's a really good group. Um, and I hate, I hate it for Tiger fans. I mean, you know, Tiger Stadium hadn't been our friend this year and that's, we gotta be better. I mean, we, we gotta do better than that. People that pay to come to our games deserve better than that. Um, you know, we're in the season at seven and four, and, and you look at that, and that you know that's not an awful record, but you know there's way too many plays we left out there that, that could have completely changed the, the record. But you know, losing these at home, that's that's tough. So what's next for the program? Uh, we're going. We'll, we'll meet Monday, and uh, you know, kind of wrap it up with our seniors, um, give, give our guys another chance to tell those guys bye. And, you know, be sure and, and show the good that's happened throughout the you know the years they've been there, been here. Because it's been a lot of uh, you know a lot of good things that have happened to that senior class. Um, and uh, you know, and talk about the, you know the foundation there. Um, and then we go back to work. You know, we finish. We got to make sure we finish this semester out strong in the classroom. Um, we're going as coaches. We're going to hit the recruiting trail and uh, start on mid-year recruiting. And you know, it's. It's, it's go time. It's just a different phase, you know. It, is, it now goes into recruiting through December and January, uh, signing, you know, and then you know, got the two signing days, one in December, one in February, and then, uh, and then we'll we'll be in the, the off season program working out and getting ready for spring ball. So I mean, it, it doesn't doesn't stop. It just changes gears a little bit. But uh, you know, we just gotta we gotta look at the foundation we have built and then see you know different ways to make sure we build on that properly. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.